Good morning, everybody. It's um, 9.55 a.m. Saturday morning on the 29th of October. Let's pray. God, I ask your blessings upon me, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Be with me, guide me, guide all my people, my friends, my Facebook friends, and our nation, the United States of America, especially in this time of crisis. Amen. This is going to be a quickie. Yesterday, we had an expose, an expose of more corruption in the government, and I'm not taking any sides. This is not a time to be Republican or Democrat. This is time to be an American. This is time to be Christian. This is the time to love one another, forgive one another. This is a time of unity, the time to go back to the founding of our country, the United States Constitution. What made our country great with its weaknesses and failures, and we got a lot of them in the United States. But we've been blessed. We've been blessed. And you've seen some of my recent posts, uh, especially by the Solinsky uh, methodology of community organizing, and not that that's the only problem, but many issues <clears throat> to where our freedoms are being taken away from us as a nation, and we're becoming more and more pagan. Um, and uh, God forbid me, I don't mean to judge. I, I'm, I'm working on my own weaknesses and my own sinfulness, and I constantly need to repent for my own sins, even as a Catholic priest. But now's the time to come together in unity, as I said before, to be Americans, to be Christians, to be Catholic, and people of goodwill, people of goodwill, uh, who may not be Christian, who may not be Jewish Christians, or God knows what, but this is a time for us to be united and to confront the evil of the world in which we're dealing with, especially here in the United States. So I offer up this video, not to become discouraged, but live in hope, huh? We have to be living in hope that Jesus, and I believe it, that's why I wear this cross. You know, if I wasn't a Catholic priest, I could have been a minister from a different denomination, I could have been a Buddhist, I could have been a monk, it could be anything. But I chose this, not because I chose this, he chose me. Great sense of humor God has, no doubt about it. But he chose me. And I've been given the privilege of having this Facebook ministry, and I'm just taking one day at a time, and using it to reach out to all people. So my message for you today is to trust in the Lord, to trust that all that you see happening around us is all part of his God plan. This is part of God's uh, historical confrontation of uh, John Paul II in 1978 when he made it as Cardinal Carol Vitoya, the great historical confrontation between the Christ, the Antichrist, the Church, the Anti-Church, Gospel, the Anti-Gospel. We're living it now. We're living in those times. But this is not the time to live in fear. This is the time to raise in hope. So my prayer for each and every one of you out there, no matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing, whoever sees this, Let's love one another. Let's repent and forgive. I, as I said, I pray for the President of the United States. I pray for the Democrats. I pray for the Republicans. Uh, that's why I'm no longer either a Republican or a Democrat. I refuse to join the party because that, that's not the answer. I believe Christ is the answer. Jesus is the answer. And I'm, 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 going to vote. I'm voting as a Catholic. I'm voting because I'm not only a Catholic priest, but I want to vote as a Catholic. What are the teachings of my church? What do I believe in? What do I have faith in? And this is what I'm going to stand on. And I'm asking all of you out there, the same, especially for those who are uh, Catholic and also maybe Christian, is to really look and see, you know, where the anointing is and how God wants to bless this country, not through political ideology, not, for, not, not for, uh, between communism, Marxism, socialism, progressivism, all the things that are part of what's happening in this country. If we don't see this, we're not even in.